Some time ago, I hosted this juggling contest to see who was the greatest ball shooter. The winner achieved an impressive record of 681, but could it be even better? What if we could make a robot do it? This is a source mod plugin, basically a game mod, made by Lugi from Brazil. And it's pretty good at shooting the ball. So, how did we get here? Step 1. Find the ball. Identifying a ball with our eyes is pretty easy. It's spherical. Its texture is reminiscent of a beach ball. So this is obviously the ball we want to shoot. But how do we make the computer see the ball? Thankfully, we actually don't have to care about any of that. TF2 maintains a list of every object that it has to simulate, whether it be map geometry, players, or in this case, a ball. Most importantly, it also tracks the type of object they are. Within our ball shooting map, the ball is the only physics object present. So we simply search for any physics objects in the map, of which only one will come up. And now we can note down its position, velocity, and whatever else we need for calculations. Step 2. Making a shot on the ball. We have the ball's position and the player's position. Now we need to translate that into where the player should be looking. Thankfully, some billions of years ago, some guy called Muhammad figured out trigonomic functions. So we just need to do some arctan math along the vertical and horizontal axis, producing the angles we need to aim at. We're now perfectly tracking the ball, but our performance is pretty lacking. What we need now is to predict the ball's trajectory and adjust our aim accordingly. Since the ball doesn't strafe like a player and basically moves in straight lines, if we know how fast the ball is going, and in what direction, we can multiply that with the time it takes for the rocket to reach the ball to find the displacement. We can then take that displacement and add it as an offset to our aim, thus shifting our aim to now point towards where the ball will be in a few moments. Finally, along the vertical axis, we can also factor in gravity so we don't overshoot, and subtract 10 from the final calculation so we always try to influence the ball to launch upwards. The result is decent, but even though the prediction falls apart when the ball hits the ceiling, we don't really need a particularly accurate prediction engine. The magic is in step 4, patience. You might have noticed, the world record run is more like balancing plates on his head, juggling the ball on his head. Our prediction engine, while pretty shit, can easily handle that. What we do is implement conditions on when to shoot. So instead of just firing rockets off at max speed, we actually fire when it makes sense to. There are several different factors you can use to determine the optimal time to fire, but Lugi's solution was to implement a maximum vertical and horizontal velocity, a maximum distance to the ball, and a maximum rocket travel time. The vertical velocity maximum is set to zero, so it will only fire when the ball is falling. When the ball is rising, its vertical velocity is a positive number, and negative when it's falling. This essentially stops the bot from blasting the ball into the ceiling and losing control of the ball. Similarly, the maximum horizontal velocity is 70, so the bot will only fire when the ball has mostly settled down reducing the risk of losing control of the ball by launching it out of reach. Assuming our bot will continuously hold W, the maximum distance to the ball is set to 30, so the bot will only fire when they are 30 units or less away from the ball. This helps reduce the chance of missing, but more importantly, it stops the bot from firing from subpar angles, where shooting the ball from the bottom is more ideal and maintains control. Finally, a maximum rocket travel time, which checks how long a hypothetical rocket would take to hit the ball if one was to be fired right now. Set to 0.3, this is basically a final safeguard to make sure the bot doesn't try to go for long-range rockets. It's possible that the bot juggles the ball above his head a few times, which would satisfy all the other requirements, and slam the ball against the ceiling, losing control of it. At this point, the bot is actually pretty solid. We can consistently get about 100-ish juggles, but the bot is dropping the ball when the soldier is just too slow to get to the ball, and the wall can be a problem. When the ball's path is predicted to go through a wall, the bot might attempt to shoot at a point outside the map, making it miss. 
These two issues are tackled in step 5, becoming smart. First, to deal with the wall itself, we draw a line from the ball's current position and its projected position. If the line is intercepted by a wall, we tell the bot to wait until this is no longer the case. But why deal with the wall when you can just avoid it? If we adjust our aim to influence the ball back to the center, we can eliminate the wall from being a concern. A system to correct the ball's position was implemented by drawing a circle around the ball's projected position. A line is drawn from the map's center to the closest point on that circle. The bot's aim is then adjusted to target the opposite end, thus pushing the ball back into the center away from the walls. To stop the bot from endlessly bouncing the ball back and forth around the center, a circle around the center of the map was also added to define where the bot should just juggle normally. And last, an oh shit mode for where everything goes out the window in a last ditch effort to save the ball. When the ball is 300 units from the floor, the bot abandons all logic and attempts to fire no matter what. The author acknowledges that there is definitely more that can be done. He could use the correction system to not just push it back to the center, but to also counteract any horizontal velocity to keep the ball moving perfectly straight. But as it is, the bot is already really good. It's achieved a high score of 8714, of which the run itself took 4 hours to complete. So a human is probably not beating it anytime soon. Oh, I'm, sh I'm sure that there will be, I'm sure that there will be bald.